Married at First Sight, Season 14, Episode 6, Katina and Olajuwon, paging Dr. Katina, paging Dr. Katina. Let me tell you something. Katina was handing out prescription this episode to all these couples, including her own husband. And you know what? Some of it was some really good advice. I ain't going to lie. Some of them probably need to take these prescriptions down to the pharmacy and um, get them filled because Katina was handing out some good advice, starting with her own doggone husband. She basically told him, listen, you're going to need to you're going to need to develop some more patience because this little thing that you do here, pushing me and pushing me and pushing me, it's not going to work. And let me tell you, she's got a breaking point and she's letting them know if you keep going down this road, you're not going to like what you find. You know, Elijah one likes to push Katina. He did it last episode in that gym. This year, this season, or this episode, he did it on these horses. And you know what? What I like about Katina is she's at least willing to try and she's willing to push through her fears. But um, Elijah one's going to need to have a little bit more patience. And she letting them know, listen, I don't mind pushing through my fears. I don't mind doing things you like to do. I don't mind doing any of this. But when I tell you I've had enough, when I tell you I'm fearful, you're going to need to acknowledge that and you're going to need to do something different. And, and, you know, at first, Elijah Wan doesn't get it. He likes to push her to the edge. But you know what I like about Katina? She has this diplomacy about her that she has this way of being able to explain things to people and to get them to see, hey, you know what? This ain't going to work. You need to do something different. And she does it in a way which I think is she doesn't tear down, but she gets her point across. She's firm in what she's saying and she sticks to it and she gets her point across. And what I like about what she and Elijah Wan did was after they went horseback riding, they had a conversation. And just like that in that gym, Katina got Elijah Wan together because he comes back to the table and he talks about what he learns and he talks about what he's going to do differently. And he talks about the adjustments he's going to make. Even Michael acknowledged that Elijah Wan knows how to self-correct. And you know what? He's adjusting. And I like of all the couples, I'm telling you, I like these two the best. I will say this in defense of um, Elijah Wan and some of the other husbands in this episode. Listen, ladies, y'all going to need to learn how to do some things other than um, get your nails done and go and go go to the mall and shop and do these type of girly things if you're going to be in a relationship because men aren't going to want to be doing all those things all the time you're going to have to learn how to do some outdoor stuff you're going to have to learn how to stretch yourself learn how to swim uh noy and uh, jasmina learn how to do something that you can enjoy later with your husband otherwise you're going to find yourself and you're going to be mad when your husband don't want to do nothing with you because you don't like to do anything he likes to do learn something other than looking pretty learn something other than trying on wigs trying on makeup going to the mall invest some time in developing a hobby that you might be able to later share with a man this is ridiculous that you get all these women coming on these shows and they don't have they scared of everything and don't have any type of outdoor adventurous spirit or nothing and they expect husbands to be sitting on the couch watching netflix you know combing a doll's hair all day learn something women but katina was giving out prescriptions the next prescription she gave out was to jasmina and i loved it she basically told jasmina you know what being right ain't always what you should be going for Hello, she's talking to Jasmina because because Katina is observant and she has seen in Jasmina what I have seen that Jasmina is dogmatic and she's stubborn. And basically she told uh, uh, Jasmina, hey, listen, some stuff ain't worth the fight. Some arguments aren't worth the fight. And she she doled out a prescription to um, Jasmina. And I sure hope Jasmina took the prescription. But I don't know because Jasmina don't have the ability to see herself. I'm going to cover her in her own video, but she don't have the ability to see herself. But Katina sees her. Katina was sitting there with Jasmina. She also told me, hey, listen, you know, she was talking to Alyssa, but she was talking to Jasmina, too. She was basically saying, you know, all you guys, you listen to all these things. These these relatives said at the wedding. But you know what? You put it in your mind. You shouldn't have put it in your mind. You should have put it in your back per pocket. Tell them, Katina, it don't mean that you ignore it, but you don't put it in your mind. She said you should have put it in your back pocket. And then later on, if you see it, then you would have been aware of it. But you put it in your mind. And you letting it mess you up. That's exactly what happened. That's what happened to Alyssa. And that's what happened to Jasmina. That's why Jasmina and Alyssa are hanging around each other because they think alike. They both put all that stuff in their mind and they've convicted these men before they've even had a chance to get to know them. And that's what Jasmina is, is doing to Michael. And Katina, Katina is calling her out on it. And, but she's calling her out on it in a nice way. But I don't know if Jasmine is picking up on the hints. Next thing you know, she wrote a prescription for Alyssa. And she told Alyssa, you know what? I know why you don't like uh, 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 Chris. Because you don't think he's attractive. You're not attracted to him. Call him out, Katina. Call him all out. And she said, well, why don't you just tell him that? Why don't you just tell him the truth? 
you know what? Maybe it does sound vain, but you know what? Maybe transparency and the truth is a better way to go than all this, you know, hopping around the truth and trying to make yourself look good. You know, all that rigmarole Alyssa was doing at the table, Katina was laughing at her. But you know, Dr. Katina, Dr. Katina, Paige and Dr. Katina, she had a lot of good advice for a lot of people on this episode. And I really hope people take her advice. But I'm still really high on this couple. They my number one couple, y'all. Sorry for y'all don't like them. I do. Bye.